Hey guys, Brick Queen here with another Lego Harry Potter minifigure comparison. This is Madame Maxime, the giant lady that Hagrid really liked. Um, but anyway, before we actually take a closer look at these, I do want to tell you guys, I am filming this on my brand new iPhone 12, which is exciting and also should have better quality pictures. So tell me in the comments if you can tell a difference in the video quality because it should be better now than it has been which is exciting um but anyway these are the only two versions of madame maxime there are right now and on first glance uh i thought oh well they have the same face same hair it's just a different dress but on looking closer i noticed there actually is another difference um, but I'll, I'll show you that in just a second. First, um, this one is the one that you get uh, in the uh, Bobaton carriage set, the arrival at Hogwarts. Um, so this is what she's wearing when she first arrives to Hogwarts. This is a nice, pretty red dress. Um, it looks like kind of a fur collar. And there's the back side of it. I am glad that the printing is on the back. I do wish and this goes for both dresses. I wish that they did um, do some printing on the side also to just kind of continue that print around. Um, that's just a, a small thing I, I hope to see them do in the future, basically. Um, but this one is uh, the one from the Hogwarts Clock Tower set. Both of these are 2019, by the way. Both came out in 2019. So this one, um, which I actually... If I had to choose between them, I think I would choose this one because um, I really like this dress. It has a white dress with kind of a pinkish purple. Really, it's kind of a lilac color uh, accent. And I like that it's, you know, the shiny print that they did on it. I think that's really cool. And especially on the back, um, I really love the detailing on how they detailed out the back of her dress. I think it looks really, really nice. So, I mean, obviously the big difference is the dress, but there's also another difference. Actually, the hair piece is different. Um, if you look, it's the same hair piece, but this one has black hair and this one has brown hair. And um, I had to, I had to pull up a picture of Madame Maxime uh, to remind myself uh, which one is actually more accurate uh, to her hair color. And the answer is this one, because her hair color actually is a, a real dark brown. It's actually about the same color as mine, <laughs> um, about the same color. So um, I'm not sure why they decided to go with a black hair piece on this one and then change it to dark brown on this one. I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe it was an accident. Maybe they didn't realize it was actually dark brown to start with. Who knows? Maybe they were looking at a picture of her in bad lighting and it looked like she had black hair. You never know. But truth be told, this one actually is more accurate to the character uh, because of the dark brown hair. Um, and now, the face itself looks to be pretty much the same. There's a slight difference in the printing. If you look real close, like right above the eyes, it looks a little bit different. It's got kind of more of a shadow above the eyes on this one. And it could just be, you know, some slight printing differences, but that's basically the difference there. And if you take the hair pieces away, and we can turn it around and see the, the second face on both look pretty, pretty similar. I think any difference between them would just be some slight printing differences, not an intended difference, if you know what I mean. Uh, but anyway, these are the only two versions of her right now. Um, so I would love for you guys to tell me in the comments which version of Madame Maxime you like better. And uh, also, if you can tell a upgrading uh, quality on the phone, I, I hope you can. I really hope it looks a lot better. On my end, it seems like it's it's doing much better. So Let's hope. And also, I am hoping that my internet issues are resolved. And this video is is kind of serving dual purpose uh, for testing purposes. <laughs> I'm testing out the video quality and uh, also testing out, um, you know, here in a minute uh, when I start uploading this, I'm going to test out my internet speeds and, and 
hope that they're much better, <laughs> but we shall see. Um, uh, but anyway, leave me a comment if you can. If you can't, let me know because YouTube is disabling comments at random sometimes. Uh, so tell me so I can re-enable comments uh, if you're not able to comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.